Hey everybody, what is going on? Speedy Diver here, and today we got bum, 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 another Z-Box. If you don't know what a Z-Box is, it is a mystery box made for geeks, as it says so right on front. Now, one thing that I was a little confused about is the past two months, Z-Box has been doing different size boxes, like they've been bigger, but now this month, they went back to a smaller box, which I don't know why. But hey, it is what it is. Still excited because I think Z-Box is a great monthly box just for geeky goodness. And uh, if you guys want to maybe check out some links in the description for the website as well as the pricing details, they're all just going to be down below. So uh, without further ado, let's look around the box real quick. We have hashtag Z-Box, some documents enclosed. <laughs> also Z-Box on this side and then another Z-Box. What's on the bottom? Like a little barcode. Okay, let's get into it. I've already cut it for time's sake of the video, but record, share, and love. I do this every time I get a Z-Box. Let's see what we get. Also, one thing to note is that it's kind of light this month. It's a little light, so I don't know what to expect. But first thing we have is some packaging, which I'll leave it there, because kind of doesn't show everything in Z-Box. Z-Box. <laughs> let's see what the first item is. It is a Harley Quinn. That is definitely Harley Quinn. Oh yeah, that's Harley Quinn right there. It's a Birds of Prey DC shirt. That is actually kind of cool. Birds of Prey. As you can see, it says Birds of Prey right there, as well as on the back. That is pretty cool. It also is a canvas, Bella canvas, which is a pretty nice shirt, to be honest. Yeah, that is actually really nice. That's a nice quality right there. Let's check out the actual design, which everyone's waiting for. Harley Quinn, that's so badass. She's holding the baseball bat. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that looks really good. There is nothing on the back, which I'm okay with, to be honest, but that is definitely a nice, nice t-shirt. Ooh, I do like Harley Quinn, so I think that's really cool. Harley Quinn, the Joker, Batman, that's great, great stuff. Even the Riddler, just everything about that kind of stuff, I like. So uh, next, oh, what? Oh, I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. Can you kind of see what that is right there? Now you can. Ba-boom. That's another Harley Quinn thing. I don't know what that theme is this month. Obviously, it's probably in the title somewhere, but uh, I'm assuming Harley Quinn. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, this is cool. Okay, this is a no oh, DC Comics bombshells. So there's three different ones on the back here. I have to say Harley Quinn's the best looking one. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Okay, let's see. Dun, 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 Harley Quinn. Okay, look at that. The halo is around her. That is nice. I have actually gotten a couple other ones of these. Don't know if it was from Z-Box or another company, but um, basically they were black and white versions of these. One was Harley Quinn and another one was, I think, Wonder Woman. This one is actually the painted version of Harley Quinn, which looks even better. That I don't know if I like her white face that much on this one but still it looks really cool so uh gotta get the um trusty a uh, dusty knife yeah <laughs> and let's get her out of here and see what is up with the new harley quinn figure oh even the nuke is green oh that's sick i don't want to break it because it feels a little fragile but you can kind of see she has her mallet i guess you would call it mallet hammer it's more like a mallet that is Oh, that is so cool. And she's obviously on a nuke. She's standing on the bombshell. That is really, really cool. Look at her hair. What? Okay, that's actually really nice. I'm not fond of the white face. I think it just looks a little cheap looking. But the overall figure, like the overall of all of it, it looks fairly good. Like that is, she's given the peace sign and she's holding the mallet. That is so cool. That is a nice figure. Ooh, I am loving that. That is sweet. Let's see what else is in Z-Box. And uh, it doesn't look like much is left. This box is a little shallow this month, but uh, we have, who is, is that? Who is this? It's DC, Catwoman. We have Catwoman. That is a strange looking Catwoman. Okay, <laughs> let's get her out of here and see what she really looks like. But uh, yeah, she, her face is a little weird. I'm not used to Catwoman looking like that. Maybe it's from a certain like time period, but this is full metal. Like it's a little chilly. It's actually metal. That is actually super cool. On the bottom here, it says Catwoman. And then on the top, that's what she looks like. 
Her face is a little strange for me. I don't know of Catwoman looking like this, so maybe it's from like an older genre of her being in movies with Batman and stuff like that. But uh, the actual base itself does say DC on it that she's standing on, which is pretty cool. And she's holding the whip, which is also metal. This is all metal. The base, I'm not sure. Yeah, the base, I think, is even metal. The whole thing is metal. That is actually really cool. It's got a lot of weight to it. I, I'm really emphasizing the metal because you kind of have to hold it to really feel how this feels. It feels genuinely like a solid piece. Like, if I threw this at the ground, I don't think her body would break whatsoever. Not going to do it, but just as like a little thing just to tell you guys. <laughs> just because I think that it's that strong. That's actually really cool. Let's get to the next item, which I think is the last... I thought there was one more. Wait, is there no more? Oh, there is the one more. Yeah, because I saw one more item in there. Let's see. Here we go. The last item in Z-Box this month is a Marvel Comics group pin. That's kind of interesting. I really don't like this that much, to be honest. It's not that interesting. I do like pins. I like to collect pins a little bit here and there. But uh, let's get it off the packaging really quick. It's got a little rubber stopper in the back, which is nice. The back of it does say a couple things here and there. It says Marvel and whatnot. The front of it, it does look really nice. It's a nice enamel pin. Marvel Comics Group. Not bad at all. It's not a bad pin. I'm just not a huge fan of the actual design of it. I think it looks a little weird, but uh, yeah, not bad. Kind of cool. So now this is the part of the video where I let you guys know what I think everything is worth. Now this month, I feel like they, it's a little short with what was actually in here. And I believe last month in Z-Box, they had their own exclusive figure, which I thought they were going to do every single box, but maybe I was mistaken. And uh, this month was really good though. Like I, I do like these two items the best. These two alone is totally worth, even the shirt is probably worth the box alone. So uh, the Harley Quinn t-shirt, I would actually give this a 15 to $20 value because I do like Harley Quinn. Uh, I just... I, I love her badassery, <laughs> so I think that's pretty cool. There's also the Harley Quinn figure. If you feel this, it has some good weight. Uh, obviously, the most of the weight is in the head because her head's huge, but uh, definitely just a really cool bombshells figure. Absolutely love it. I love how she's winking and doing the peace sign. That is a nice figure for sure. Give that a $15, $20 value as well. I would pay 20 bucks for that. I really would. I think that's really cool. The pin, I would pay maybe like a dollar. For this, I'm not a huge fan of it. You might like it personally, but me, I'm just not a huge, huge fan, so about a dollar. And then the DC Catwoman figure that's all metal. I personally would not buy this, but if I had to pay for it, I would maybe pay, and guess what it's actually worth? I'd probably say about like eight bucks, maybe, like five to eight dollars. I'm not too, too sure. But uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this month's Z-Box. I feel like there's one thing that's just missing. Thanks for watching, and if you are interested in checking out more Z-Box unboxings, make sure you check them out all over here. There's a whole ton of them. Also, make sure you check out the, uh, the last video over here. Subscribe to my gaming channel and this channel as well. And if you do subscribe, make sure you do turn on notifications by clicking that little bell notification. Oh yeah. And come back tomorrow for another epic video, which is gonna probably be a weekly recap tomorrow. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.